Pardon me. All right, so now we're doing 7Q All Unique. This is by Penelope, and 94% of the people like it. So what we're going to do is write a program to determine if a string contains only unique, pardon me, only unique characters. We're going to return true if it does and false if other. So the string may contain any of the 128 ASCII characters. Characters are case sensitive, ergo little a and big A are considered different characters. Awesome. So let's knock this out. Um, first things first, this one's a little more complex since it's 7Q. It's going to have a couple of steps. So let's write the steps down first and foremost. Let's think about them uh, for a second. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make a dictionary with the counts of the letters in the string of the characters in the string. My bad in the string. My bad. Let's do that. Let's say make a dictionary with the counts of the characters in the string. Boom. Uh, second thing. After we do that, <clears throat> since it's only true or false, all we have to do is check if the values in the key values pair, key value pairs in the key value pairs. Yeah. If the values in the key value pairs are all less than two are all one basically. So check to see if all values are one. Boom. There we go. So for this, I forgot how to do this, but I do remember it's possible. And I've got the Python notes right here. All right. So we made these while watching. Uh, what was it we were watching for such a long time? Python for everybody. So these are the these are the notes from the Python from for everybody course. And we could do this also, uh, codemans.org, if you want to come check it out on my site, codemans.org right here. Uh, you can see, is that, the good, is that a good color? Yeah, whatever. Uh, you can see Python notes right here. We can click it and it'll download my, pet, my text file for you. All right. Uh, so yeah, but the thing is about the text file, what's going on here? The thing about the text file is that you can't just copy code from here because the tab here and the tab in most IDEs are completely different. So just letting you know. Uh, that being said, we're going to be here and we're going to say control F. So we want to find something about dictionaries, right? So dictionary, let's do that. Uh, find next. All right. That looks good. So now we're going to have to find something in the dictionary section about counts. So let's just say count like this. Find next. What do we got here? Many counters. No. Find next. Uh, no. Uh, count by one. Counts dictionary. Uh, yes. That's exactly it. Look at that. So uh, let's get rid of this. So we can do something just like this. We can have like uh, counts dictionary. We've already got this going on. Uh, and then we can do the four animal in animals and blah, blah, blah. All right. So let's just take this. You can take it from uh, the thing. See how this has this tab here. It doesn't like that over on. Uh... Is that all the problem? No, no, no. Also, the tabs are way too uh, big on this one. Is that the only problem? Anyway, I copied this. We're coming over here to the, what is this, Code Wars? And we're going to first drop in here a triple string. And then we'll drop it down one, two. And right here, we'll say Control V. All right. So now, even though it has that uh, problem with the, what's this stuff called? The tabs. We can still write this down because we can see it, right? Uh, so we're going to start off and we're going to say counts equals, pardon me, uh, new dictionary. 
right there. Boom. And then we're going to say uh, we don't need the animals uh, list right there. So we'll just say for count in counts. Wrong uh, for 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 character in string. All right. Uh, what we're going to do now is say if character not in count we'll do counts at what's animal where's animal animal and animal for counts in character hmm? counts at character character now equals one all right so if it's not in the lit in the uh, dictionary already whatever letter in the string uh we're going to return this and then after that we'll do an else and we'll say counts at animal uh equals whoops 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 equals counts at animal uh plus one all right good great <clears throat> pardon me so now that we've got this, let's say return right here. Let's do return count. Count. Okay, great. Mm, that's good. All right, so let's test it. And we can see we've got this going on right here. It's counting the characters like that. What is going on here, though? Animal is not defined. Animal is character counts oh a character my bad <laughs> i should have just copied this boom test it all right great so yeah this looks good it's got a list of the characters and it's got this let's also before this let's print out uh string all right cool so let's go print string Test it out. Okay, so we got A, B, C, D, E, F, and we're at this step right now. So now that we've got this, we need to uh, go through the values, right? So to get that, uh, we're just going to come over here and we're going to say Control F, and then next we'll go Values. And let's see if we can find it. I didn't do it this way the first time. Uh, nope. Nope. Almost. Almost there. There it is. Friends.values. So that's what we're going to do to get the values. Uh, we're going to use the the values method on it. All right. So now that we've got that, let's come back over here and say. So we already seen this. We've already seen uh, this. So let's say counts. Let's actually let's just print. Let's say print. Uh, counts dot values counts dot values test it out <laughs> oh yeah uh it's a it's a it's a method don't forget the parentheses okay so there we go we got the uh, values right there great so now that we've got that, uh, let's come down here and check to see if all values are one. So let's say uh, values. Let's do it right here. Let's come up with this. Let's do this. Drop this down. Bring this back. Drop this down and say values. Values equals counts dot values like that. So we know what that looks like. Uh, it looks like this right here. Except for, hold on, let's go uh, print values. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe it'll do something different. Nope, exact same thing. Great. So we've got that going on. So let's uh, see if any of these are greater than one. So let's come down here and say if value in values Mm, no, let's say four value in values. What am I doing? Four value in values. If 
value is greater than one, return false. And then down here, we'll just say return true. Whoa, not like that. Uh, return true. Let's drop this down like that. <coughs> Pardon me. So yeah, uh, we're going to go through this thing right here. And if this, if any of these are greater than one, like this right here, it's going to automatically just return false. And if not, return true. Test it. Looks good. Attempt it. Looks good again. And submit it. All right. So there we go. And we see the first thing right here. Look what we could have done the whole time. A little length of S equals length of the set of S. All right. And if you've, if you've seen or done any of this JavaScript, we know that sets, when we use the set method on things or do new set, everything that goes in here is going to be a unique value. Is that how sets work? Let's, 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 let's go back here and let's say that's mine now. Okay. Let's come back here. Let's uh, drop this here, but instead of returning it, let's print it. How about that? Print. That's not how you do it. Print. And then that's not how you do it either. Print. All right. And then we're going to say this right here. Let's do a, let's say end and put another one right there. Test it out. Let's see what it does. Come on. <laughs> What's the problem with this? S is not defined. Come on now. All right. Oh, 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 oh. We're going to do a thing. I just read about this. We're going to do a control H. We're going to say, no, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, we could do string S. Although we could have just, we didn't have to go through all this. All. Yeah, we didn't have to do all that. So let's test it. True, false, false. Yes. Yes. I would like to... Let's get rid of this and do this. Let's get rid of this and do this. All right. So here's the set of S. So yeah, it gives us this object where there is just one unique value as each item in it. That's so weird. That's so weird. That's such a weird thing. Now that I, now that I've done this for a while, that's, this is such a weird thing, right? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you say usually inside of here, it's keys and values, right? How weird. I like it. It's cool. It's a cool way of doing things. The whole set. To check unique characters. Excellent. So yeah. That's what's up. That's that's what's up right there. No, not that. This. Also, something's wrong. Uh, also, forget about that. Return. Go to the end. Oops. And get rid of that. Test it out. Come on now. Oh, string. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been better to just replace uh, that with S again. Whatever. Test it out. Come on. Oh, yeah, we got to close this. This video sucks, but I don't care because we learned something. The more we see this, the more we're going to do it, right? That's just the fact of life. Uh, the more we see tricks like these, the more we'll do them. So that's why doing Code Wars is smart, especially 7Q. We're going to be doing 7Q from now on because 8Q is ridiculously easy. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're done. All right. So there's that. Attempt it again. Why not? Looks good. And submit it. So, yeah, that's the move right there. There's the same kind of thing. Uh, here's this. If length of S is greater than or equal to 128, 
And length of S is this. Yeah, that's a true, true or false, right? What the? What? Of the set of S. Why was this here? <clears throat> I don't want to go into this because you never know what kind of crazy stuff these guys are saying. And I don't want to. I don't want to have to edit it. So yeah, there's how we do it. Uh, very much like it, of course. Thanks for watching this, and we'll see you next time.